all right everybody what is going on this is trey aka can trey game and welcome back to another video now today we're gonna be doing the tengen guide and the way i play tengen this is not obviously a gonna be an advanced guide or anything this is how i use them because there are a bunch of different ways you can play tengen there's aqua way the professionals i'm not that but i do have a particular way that i play them I will showcase that. It's been a while since I've done a character guy video on Demon Slayer. The last one, a Como, that was like my third video ever. And that video <laughs> didn't age particularly well. I said that in that video, I said that I felt like Como was a top of A tier character. That's bogus, especially now, with the long as the game's been out. I feel like she is actually a bottom character, bottom two. Um, right next to Yoshiro, I feel like she's one of the bottom two characters in the game. So, yeah, we're to find that now. I don't feel that way anymore. But all right, so we're gonna get into the gameplay of Tengen. So we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is showcase his move. A level three dash. So he's um. One of the fastest characters in the game, tied with Akaza, Makomo, and Shinobu. So if you check his dash speed here, let's do this. He's there instantly. We'll get back. Try it again. Showcase it. Here I come. And then for comparison, we'll go to Makomo here. Uh, just as fast. So yes, Tengen does have level three dash speed. He's um, got the top speed in the game, so that's one bit if he has. Then we'll show the sideways the movement for comparison as well. He's also pretty fast running to the side. And then we'll go to the other side to showcase that. So movement-wise, he's not lacking. I would do this for comparison. He isn't lacking on movement, and they're both pretty equal on movement speed. Tengen's basic attack is this, is his neutral. So not pretty basic, we'll go for his launcher now. And then we'll go for the down heavy. Alright, pretty basic stuff. One thing that I can point out for Tengen right away is this particular segment of his neutral combo. The part where he attacks a bunch. That part there. So for one, this part, that part of the combo can catch people dashing in at him. So it's very similar to the Nitsu as well, because the Nitsu had the same thing. They both, they both have this part in the combo. So if somebody's dashing in at you and they run into that, they're going to get hit out of their dash. So it does have priority when people are dashing at you. Sometimes you can catch special moves. Now, the thing about that dive attack is it's actually plus on guard, this, it's not unsafe. So if Tengen hits this, he'll be able to attack before the opponent can actually punish him. So it's still Tengen's turn. A lot of people, unless they play Tengen or lab a little bit, they don't know that, so they'll try to, generally you'll hit that, they'll try to attack, and they'll get a calm off because they tried to swing but without knowing that it wasn't their turn. Tengen's plus on this. Now we'll showcase his heavy attack. It's actually, I feel like it's one of the better ones in the game. It's got really good range. It's also really quick. And from a certain distance, it's safe. I think from like maximum distance, it might be what kind of block. I think the only way you can really get punished here is if you have a level three dash speed, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that, but it is a relatively safe one. It's not as safe as the need to, the place needs to have the best heavy in the game, but Tengen is definitely also a really good one. It's really hard to hit him. It's really hard to punish it. And it launches, it, it actually launches him in the air when it hits. So I'll show that real quick. So it does launch him, which you can follow up with. An air combo like that. So that's one thing that's unique about it. It does launch. Now we'll showcase his grab. So either way, his grab doesn't do that much damage, it's pretty weak. I will compare it to the grab. 
Not a very strong grab there. So I think they do run the same damage. What? 14? No, Tinkins is actually weaker than Makomo's grab, so his grab is definitely lacking in damage. However, unlike her, his does have some really good range. It goes pretty far. Right there, it does have some really good reach on it, so it's really easy if you dash and block, like I tend to do a lot. You, It's easy to do this. It's a lot easier. Or when you hit somebody and they sub, you do a quick dash block into a grab. So that's much easier to do with this grab to have reach. That's really good. Much easier to do that. Less time to react to this grab as far as we do. So that's a plus for Tengen there. His damage output actually isn't bad, so we'll showcase some of that. So some of the damage Tengen gets is really good, especially off of his heavy. For one series, one of his little heavy here. And as you can see, he's doing Urukadaki is, I think, the tankiest character in the game. So 3,383 damage on him isn't bad off of a non three charge enemy. So now we'll get into his special moves. So the first special move is um, constant resounding flashes. So for one, this is a assist move. It's really good. It covers a lot of AOE. It does cover AOE. And similar to Nezuko's um, crazy scratching move, this move can be it can be done in the air for one. So that's one it can be done in the air and it will catch people dashing at you so if you if they tend to rush you a lot and you jump and you do it quick and they dash they get caught by that so you do have priority for dashing at you and a lot of physical moves i believe like if someone does a water wheel or something like that or tries to dp it with a poor rush or something it'll clash that it really can't break through unless they hit you with a projectile or something like not even like a move like this We'll just bump into it and knock him out of the air. Another thing you can do with this move is the follow up with the grab. But two have figured out, but a lot of people did it. Because this move puts them in animation with a fall into the ground. And when you're falling like that, you can be grabbed. So just for example. Big chain like that. In the air, it doesn't extend the combo or anything. It just immediately puts them in a spitting animation. You can't follow up after that. On the ground, you can chain two of them. You can chain multiple ones, I mean to say so. Like like that. So you can chain them. I don't think it's too good on block, however. If someone push blocks him off, he he's kind of open. You can cancel it, however. So if you predict that. However, generally if you get push blocked while doing this, you are kind of open depending on the move they do. So now we'll get into the second move. His tilt skill, and his tilt skill is the string performance, so it's this. String performance! So first thing about this move string here is it is really quick. Like I, I think it's just as fast as the pre-patched water wheel, uh, Tantra's water wheel. This move comes a lot of distance from really far, and it's easy to catch the off guard. So if you're mashing a button, like with them, if your opponent's mashing and you throw that out there, if they like let go of block for instance, move can catch you. What a lot of people do is they'll hit combo, wait for them to like sub, and then get a performance. So we'll showcase it at combo real quick. So it can be pretty key to commit. No, it just ended as well. So you can't follow up it in the air. Uh, Alright, so first thing to note about string performance is that, like I said, the con the pluses are that it's really fast. It 
covers a lot of distance. Now, the flaws of this move are that just like constant resounding slashes, if your opponent guards this, and if they push block you, you're open as well. If you do this move, you can cancel it. However, it's very late, for example. See, I canceled it, but it's really at the end of the move. Flaw is, once you do this move, you have to commit, basically. There's no canceling it. You can't, you can only cancel at the very end, like at a close distance like this. And they have good enough reaction time. You, you're kind of high risk, high reward, because they can parry it. Like this is, they, if they're good at time, this is a guaranteed parry. And there are some players who are really good at parrying. Like I tend to, I think I'm pretty good at parrying for the most part. Also, if you get push blocked, it'll push you off of them. And you're kind of open. So depending on the move they do, if they, for example, it'd be easy to do this, push you into an EP or push block into a boar rush. When you're doing the move, like you're throwing the Hail Mary, you're kind of selling your soul against a good opponent. The cancel is just too late to really matter. And a lot of times when I'm fighting a Tengen and I'm using uh, Awaken Nesico, for example, her DP goes pretty far. It teleports her damn near to the opponent. It travels pretty good distance. So a lot of times when I'm fighting a Tengen, whenever I see them do this move and I dodge it, I'll immediately DP punish him because Tengen can't really do anything about it. Once he's done this move, it's kind of over for him. You're running the risk of getting parried easily. You're running the risk of getting push block into DP. And you're also able to get ult as well. So if you do this and your opponent is able to react to it with an ult, you're gonna get hit. Another flaw I'll get into with Tengen as well is this move here. It's in the same boat. And this part is combo. Yeah, see how I can't cancel early? This part of his combo here. See, you can do, you can cancel into a special move or dodge out of it, but it's really late. It's like at the end. So a lot of times when I'm fighting Tengen, because I am kind of familiar with Tengen's playstyle, a lot of times when they're hitting my guard, they'll just do this. The moment I see that part come out, I'll push him there and then do a DP or push him into an into an ult, depending on how quick the character is. So be mindful of this. While I can catch people dashing and it has some priority, he is open. So overall, really good move for mobility and catch up one off guard, but against a good opponent, just I wouldn't just throw it out there really nearly. There's a lot of risk with doing this. Now we'll get into Tengen's DP. The rising kick. So one thing to note is you can't use it the same way you use someone like Makomo or Akaza or Nezuko. A lot of the characters have range with it because this move, it doesn't have range. So if you're blocking somebody, It'll miss most of the time. Yeah, so a lot of times when someone's mashing, you won't be able to you won't be able to really make use of this. Try to punish you for mashing against you. But how you should use this move is in a combo. It's really good in a combo. So that's the main time I'm gonna go for that move is when you're doing it in a combo. Use it as a launcher or extender, but don't do it to push block. It's, it's doesn't have enough range and it has long recovery. Do this and you miss. You are open. Uh, flaws with Tengen here. Like a lot of his moves are really good and strong. However, he has to commit to a lot of them. A lot of them are really unsafe and leave him open. So this is bad. Three performance is bad if you miss or get a good player, and then you have this trying to push guard and do the punish. It doesn't work. So use it as a combo extender, not as a punish. And the off chance that it does hit, uh, yeah, you just get a red bar for it. You can't use it like uh, Makomo or Inosuke, for example. All right, so now we'll get into some of the combos that I've learned with Tengen. It's just some of my things. They might not be as plentiful as a combo video, but I'll show you what I got. So we'll just show a montage of the combos, and then I'll get back to you after that. Give 
that I have they go for with taking it if I play him. High risk, high reward character. He can get a lot of damage. Here I come. Got speed. Good movement. Also in the air. Pretty good damage. I remember this is against Buddha and Padaki, so he's the tankiest character in the game. So get the other characters, they will do more. Great heavy move. Pretty safe in certain positions. And Tingen's flaws for the most part are he has to commit to a lot of things, so this is unsafe. A lot of moves can get pushed back, so open during this. String performance keeps him open. And his DP on guard. Pretty bad. Has terrible recovery. And Tingen is really susceptible to getting push blocked. Definitely gotta use his assist a lot. I think the main way to play Tingen is to kind of just abuse the speed movement. Look for those small openings to him in the combo and then punish him. Closing on those um, openings that a lot of other characters can't get with the speed. And go for those high risk moves when the opportunity wins itself. When you're fighting in close, you kind of just want to use your priority. Go for the heavy to punish whatever you can for the most part. But that's generally how I use Tengen. I hope this guide was able to help you guys out or understand how I play Tengen. and hopefully this help people might not be the most comprehensive and in-depth guide but it's how I use them now if I were to put Tengen on the tier list I feel like I, I generally do feel like Tengen is an A tier character but, but I feel like he's like at the bottom of A or at least top of B tier He's a really good character, really solid character. Got a lot of strengths, but he's got a lot of weaknesses. I don't really feel like Tenkin excels at anything necessarily. I just feel like a lot of stuff he does. There are other characters that can have last minute for like heavy for as good as it is. Needs to be better. His movement ain't bad, but there's Kaza. Mitsu does this better too. Movement speed's good, so that's like all around like the best movement speed the game. Like fast adapt to the game level three. So Tink is a solid pick, you can't go wrong picking him. So overall I feel like the good Tink in the matchup chart is pretty good. I don't think he really struggles against this character. I mean alright, so Nezuko's on the top here, so obviously gonna have a hard fight against her. Especially getting push blocked. I think she got her guys pretty really good. Uh, he generally wins these matchups here. I mean the is obvious, that's pretty bad. Um, yeah, so I don't really think he struggles against a lot of characters on the list. Like, nothing's super obvious at the moment, except for the Nitsu, maybe Nesuko. Everybody struggles against Akaza, he's the best character in the game, so I hardly even really count that. But, characters that can punish. Oh, well. And of course, Satsumara, and I feel like Yahabi struggles against two because he really can't get in on them that well. Uh, I feel like he struggles with Inmu. I mean, to be fair, I know everybody, a lot of the people struggle against the demons. I think he had a positive matchup against uh, Advance from Nesuka, though. And, I mean, this guy sucks. He's the worst character in the game. <laughs> so, mainly the demons from about the top ranking demons in Nesuka. The better slayers I feel like he struggles against. But he doesn't really have, like, none of these are just, like, crushing, so unless you're a demon. The tank could definitely hold his own against the roster. That out of the way, I think that's going to conclude this guide video on how I play Tengen. Not too much to cover, but um, that's the most I come with Tengen. That's 
me that I'm going to figure out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped you. Hopefully you learned something new from the combo of the guy and stuff you didn't know. Maybe you might have struggled against Tengen and didn't know a lot of his flaws, but some of the flaws I have, hopefully, um, they enlighten you and can help you improve your rank. And if you didn't know these things, playing Tengen now you know, so you'll be a little more careful doing these things. And um, until next time, I'm going to be, I get to work on making the Awaken Nesico guide immediately after this is done. So I will catch you guys then. Peace out.